Mathematics is the cradle of all creation, without which the world wouldn't move at all. Be it a businessman, a surgeon, an engineer, or a musician. Everyone needs mathematics in their life for existence. Mathematicians to be or to not to be, that is my topic. Now snails make their shells and spiders design their webs. There are countless other examples of mathematical patterns found in nature's fabric. Anyone can be a mathematician, it only if one is given the proper guidance and training in one's formative life. The dilemma is that our generation does not understand this poetry of logics renowned as math. I want you to imagine being in a technological less age around 1871 in England. Though I doubt you're still alive, but if you were, you owed your life to math. Let me make a relevant connection. Math does save lives. Take Florence Nightingale, for example, Take Florence Nightingale, for example, the famous British nurse and mathematician. Because of her application of mathematics in the form of medical statistics, it led to a significant decline in the number of deaths throughout English hospitals in the 17th, 19th century. She also had a flair for turning data into pictures to help people understand her findings. Now, but it's not just in medical matters that math can save lives. Math is used all the time from anything to accurately predict anything from how much water you need to trek across the Gobi Desert to how much snow plows are required to clear the streets of New York after a blizzard. Likewise, at, at the height, likewise, at the height, likewise, at the height of the swine flu pandemic in 2009, researchers used mathematical modeling to accurately predict how the virus would spread around the world. By analyzing the movement of more than 2.3 million airline passengers, they were able to notify places they knew would be most affected by the virus. Do you really think math does not save lives? If you think about it, math helps us have better problem-solving skills. Math helps us think analytically and have better reasoning abilities. Obviously, almost all of us don't like math. For example, me, I, I really didn't like it. I hated it. In fact, I was really bad at it. But that changed only after I changed my perspective. I looked at math from different angles. And you should too. We should change, for a fact. I mean, humans change all the time. Change comes every single new century. Now, how we can change is another thing. We have to look at things from different multiple viewpoints. And we should even try to express regularity and try to make sense of structure. Let me give you an example. The Fibonacci sequence, a famous sequence of numbers in mathematics, is used in is used and found in nature. And some say math was actually used to, math was actually the language that was used for the creator to communicate with us. I mean, obvi sorry. Um, but math is understood the same way virtually all over the world. I mean, a math equation doesn't have to be translated to another language to be understood from someone from the other side of the planet. A mathematical law doesn't, doesn't change for someone who has a different religion than you. Two plus two is four for every single person on the planet. Now, pretty cool, the universality of math is such a powerful tool that we can use for an essential life skill. Mathematics offers rationality to our thoughts. It is, it is a tool in our hands to make our life simpler and easier. Let us realize and appreciate this beauty of this subject and embrace it with all our heart. It is a talent which is compulsorily honed by all in every walk of life. Thank you.